Hands. It's Michelle Joy Phelps with BehindTheGloves.com, and I am here with Mauricio Herrera, who is facing Danny Garcia this Saturday, March the 15th, here in Puerto Rico. How are we feeling? Oh, we're feeling great. We're uh, ready. We are camps over. We're ready for the weigh-ins tomorrow, and uh, we're 100% confident, and we're ready to go. You're facing the best at 140. Is there anything about Danny in particular that worries you? Uh, no, I mean, I've fought in t tough guys in the past. I mean, Danny, uh, to me, he's, he's human like me. I mean, he bleeds like me. I have no fear of Danny. The uh, only thing different is they're for belts, and uh, we're going after him. You're, right now, you're kind of known as the guy who it has beat Ruslan Provodnikov. And uh, do you think that maybe some people are overlooking you at this point? Yeah, I know a lot of people are overlooking me. I mean, uh, nobody knows who I am, you know, and uh, including Danny and his dad. I mean, he says he has seen me fight and knows even the color trunks I'm wearing, but... I don't think he has any idea who I am because uh, I see the, I see him changing his his attitude, his moods throughout this press uh, that I didn't see in him before. Uh, he's getting, I think, a little more cocky. Uh, so I see a lot of things. That maybe it's uh, uh, taking me lightly. Who knows? But uh, we trained for 100% Danny Garcia, so we're going to be ready either way. What did you think of Danny's performance against Lucas Matisse? I thought he did a good job. You know, he showed that he can box a little. Uh, but uh, I thought it was a very close fight. I mean, it wasn't like he destroyed the guy. Uh, but he did what he had to do. You know, I had a feeling Danny was going to win also. I had sparred with Matisse and thought that if Danny can box, he, he would beat him. Now, um, you're fighting in his turf here in Puerto Rico. Have the Puerto Ricans been warm to you, or do you feel their loyalty towards Danny? Uh, yeah, they've been warm to me. I mean, I haven't seen anything uh, bad about me than saying anything. Uh, I don't know who's behind Danny or anything like that, but uh, at the end of the day, I think the people just want to see a great fight. I think a lot of people were expecting maybe Angel Garcia to flare up a bit and get under your skin. I, I see that hasn't happened. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is uh, maybe he's nervous, you know, uh, or maybe maybe because I haven't said anything or he doesn't know me. But uh, either way, I mean, he's gonna be surprised, I, and maybe he sees something. Who knows? But uh, he seems like he's a nervous, and Danny seems like he's the one that's a cocky one this time. What's the game plan come Saturday night? How are you going to take Danny Garcia's O away from him? Well, it all depends how he comes out. You know, I'm known as a boxer, but I, you know, I'm known also as I can brawl. So, I mean, depending on how Danny wants to do this uh, and what's ever more comfortable for me and how I feel I can beat him uh, is what I'm going to do. And I can ch change and adjust in the ring. Right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Do you have a, a Twitter account you want to give a shout out for the fans? Yeah, Twitter, I'm Mauricio Herrera. And Facebook, I'm Mauricio Herrera. And uh, just want to let everybody know, look, you're looking at a great fight, uh, fight of the year. Great. Thank you so much. Appreciate right, it. Thank you.